Welcome back everyone, Scarlane here bringing you a new Neverwinter video. Today's video topic, we're going to be looking at the Lion's Guard armor and how exactly to get it. So, if you go over to your campaigns, go down into Avernus, and then what you want to do is open the store, navigate over to the Lion's Guard gear, and this brings up all of the gear. So there are two versions of it, there normally are every module. So the Lion's Hard Helmet, Breastplate, Gloves, and Boots, and then they have different statistics uh, as far as the second version. So depending on what version you want, for instance, if we look at the Gloves, this one has Armor, Pen, and Accuracy. This one has Critical Strike and Deflection. So if you look at the Helmet, it has Critical Strike and Combat Advantage versus Critical Strike and Critical Avoidance. So there's always two versions of gear normally. So how exactly do we get this gear? Um... You know, you need the reagents. It has specific reagents that you need. So let's go ahead and look at the reagents. So first on the list, of course, is the chaotic writings. You should know where this comes from. You can do your dailies, your weeklies, or heroic encounters, and you will accumulate uh, chaotic writings. You know, this is mainly used to farm the Juma bags. I did a video on the Juma bags already. You can navigate over to my past videos and watch the Juma bag farming. But you also want to have, you know, a little bit left so you can get it. I mean, it's not very expensive. You only need 250 chaotic writings, so that's two and a half heroics to even get uh, the chaotic writing. So the bottleneck, of course, is the four special reagents. So we do have Fire of the Pit Fiend, which is used for the helmet. We have the Hellfire Engine Paneling, which is used for the chest piece. We have the Hellforged Chain, which is used for the gloves. And then you have the Bone Devil Spur, which is used for the boots. Now the popular items here uh, for DPS is the gloves. I haven't bought it. I was waiting to make this video before I bought it. So we're going to go ahead and buy these. I'm picking the ones with armor, pen, and accuracy. It has the equipment bonus of escalating might. Gain 250 power when you strike an enemy. Lose attack when you are struck. And it stacks to 20 times. So this kind of rivals the primal gloves. You can still use the primal gloves. Uh, but these have higher statistics. This is better version gear. So this should not be very hard to maintain. Uh, as a warlock specifically. I'm always striking the enemy with my at wheels. I, I should have no problem maintaining uh, all 20 stacks of this. Even if I do get hit. I should have 20 stacks of this constantly. So we're going to go ahead and buy this for purposes of video. That's what I was waiting for. So we do have our first piece of this set. Now another popular piece is the helmet. Uh, once the collection gets off the screen. So we have charged might. When your stamina is over 75% you gain 5,000 power. So a lot of people are navigating to this item as well. Uh, I know some tanks are going for the chest plate. Uh, and I'm not sure about the boots. The boots aren't bad either for an AoE situation. You gain 300 power for any, for every enemy uh, you're engaged in battle with, up to 15 targets. Uh, I know a lot of people are using the rusted iron leggings, as you can see on my screen right now, for the 5% overall DPS increase. Uh, but another option is these uh, boots, if you so choose. So we're going to uh, go into the dungeon. I have pre-recorded footage that we're going to show you. All of these reagents obviously come from Infernal Citadel. So you're going to have to farm the Mod 18 dungeon. So let's go ahead and take a look at a couple clips and watch this stuff drop. Alright guys, and here we are at the first boss in Infernal Citadel, uh, Morzark. And you can see that the reagents will drop. So we got a Hellforge chain as well as a Bone Devil Spar drop here. Uh, and then you have to roll on these. So make sure you're talking to your group or whatever to find out, you know, exactly who needs what, essentially. So here's the Hell 4 chain. Um, and I was looking for this in particular. So, you know, I was able to pick this up from the first boss. Not too shabby. All right, guys. And here we are at the second boss, uh, Zaphiel. So go ahead and mow him down. And he should drop reagents as well. Now keep in mind that the reagents do not have a 100% drop ratio. Sometimes you'll kill uh, one of the bosses in an Infernal Citadel and they actually will not drop anything at all. So uh, it is RNG uh, and you'll just have to wait and see what you get. So unfortunately you'll have to farm you know, Infernal Citadel until you get all the pieces. So we were lucky enough and the second boss did drop us pieces. 
So it looks like we have another Bone Devil Spur. And I believe he drops a second piece as well. I think he drops the fire, uh, the Pit Fiend fire. So this is my group just talking about, well, who's getting what. So yeah, here is the uh, fire of the Pit Fiend that also dropped. All right, and finally, we're at the Hellfire Engine, the last boss here. So go ahead and mow him down and see if you get lucky, get any reagents to draw. We were actually really lucky this dungeon run. Um, this was my first dungeon run of this. I actually posted the video of it already, but uh, all three bosses ended up dropping loot. So we'll see what drops here. Uh, I believe another Hellforge chain drops here. So I was able to accumulate two of these this dungeon run. And I do need to mention... Uh, the cooldown as well. So let's go ahead and briefly talk about this. So the first boss dropped the Hellforge chain, right? The second boss did not. The third boss did. Now these reagents are also time gated. You can only get one reagent from every boss one time a week. So what does this mean exactly? I got a Hellforge chain from the first boss and the last boss. So during that week, I cannot get any more Hellforge change from the first and the last boss. I would still have an opportunity to get a Hellforge chain from the second boss, but I can't get it from the first and the third boss until the new week rolls around. So every Monday, this refreshes on the reagents you can get. So keep that in mind that if I would go and do this in the same week, I would not be able to get another Hellforge chain from the last boss of this dungeon. These are time gated reagents that's why you only need three reagents per piece of gear because they actually put a time gate on it so you can't just farm inferno citadel and get all four pieces of the gear in the same week now at the same time i believe a second reagent dropped here as well yes the uh hellfire engine paneling uh correct me in the in the comments below if i'm incorrect but i think the hellfire engine paneling only drops from the hellfire engine the last boss so anyone going for the breastplate armor you're only actually able to get the engine paneling from the hellfire engine someone can correct me if that uh if i'm wrong in that but i'm pretty sure that you can only get that specific reagent um I've heard rumors that you can get it from all of them, but I'm not 100% sure on that information. So leave me a comment below uh, if you've gotten the engine paneling from either the first or the second boss. So we'll go ahead and let this play out and then we'll wrap up this video. So just keep in mind, guys, that these reagents are, in fact, uh, time-gated. Uh, if you're lucky enough to get, you know, one off of each boss, then you'll be, you know, done with that piece of gear. Alrighty guys, and that's going to conclude today's video, so hopefully you have the knowledge on how to get your Lion's Guard armor now. It's actually a fairly easy process, to be honest. Uh, you just have to have a good, strong group to do Infernal Citadel, farm Infernal Citadel, and you'll be on your way to get those select pieces of gear, or all the pieces of gear uh, that you choose to get from that uh, dungeon and mod 18. So that is going to conclude today's video. If you have any questions, as always, please leave me a comment below. Make sure you go ahead and hop into the Discord. That's the easiest way to contact me if you have questions. Uh, also, make sure you are uh, subscribed to the channel. Um, I've been noticing I gain a lot of uh, viewers that are viewing my videos that actually aren't subscribed to the channel. We just finally hit 13,000 subs. Let's try to push that number to 20k plus. So you can see that over 81% of you aren't actually subbed to my channel. So what's holding you back? You know you love me. So go ahead, hit that sub button. Uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter for the latest updates. And like I said, make sure you hop in my Discord. All that information will be in the description. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment below and I'll see you guys real soon.